Welcome to the first edition of the Farm Show, and I'm your host, Harry Siemens. Today, we speak with Dwayne Thiessen of Morden and Crystal City, Manitoba. And Dwayne, first off, talk about uh, who you are and what you sell and what you do. Um, well, I'm uh, Dwayne Thiessen of uh, Crystal City. Of well, of Tisney Adventures. We are a farm and rentals dealer out of uh, Crystal City, Manitoba. We provide quality, well-maintained farm equipment for rent. We also sell tow ropes and straps and various other ag products. And we also offer delivery of rentals. So. Why should and do farmers rent in nowadays? I I think back to my father who, in 1960, farmed a thousand acres. I don't know if we had a a rental on on the on the property, but uh, things have changed obviously. And today, uh, there's a specific market for farmers who want to, I guess, rent specific equipment. Well, with uh, growing equipment costs and and uh, a lot of equipment's occasional use. It uh, makes sense to rent because it requires no capital outlay, and it is also a 100% uh, write-off, and you don't have to worry about uh, depreciation. And uh, I guess another factor would be uh, sometimes farmers only use a piece of equipment for, uh, for a couple of hours, a couple of days, or how does that work? Uh, depending on the, the type of equipment, it's it's rented by the day or by the or by the acre. If it's a field piece of equipment, then we try to rent it by the acre. So, do you have acre counters on your machine, or how does that work? Yeah, we have acre counters. Yep. And, and uh, go ahead. Yep, and it's, yeah, we have acre counters. Yeah. Okay. Then why did you get into the business? I got into the business uh, because I saw a need for rental equipment in the local farming community. I, uh, connecting with Flamin has been a good fit for me. So, how did you notice, uh, you know, that there was a need for it? Did farmers tell you? Did you have a need on your on your own expanded farm together with your own family farm, or how did you find out? Um. I guess, kind of, uh, I just, yeah, I don't know, just kind of through observation, I guess, uh, uh, and just saw the way things were going. How and, do you, uh, okay. Then just being aware of, of what was going on in the farming community. How do you promote your business and how do they work with you? I uh, promote the business mostly through social media. Uh, you can follow me at T-Snag Adventures Dash Flamin Rentals on Facebook and at T-Snag dot Dash Flamin on Twitter. I also do mail outs and uh, digital advertising. And uh, you know, you and I have talked on several occasions. We follow each other. On Twitter, that's actually where we got to know each other, and uh, and uh, you know you've done this now for a few years. Uh, I remember going back a couple of years when you didn't have a, as good a year as you had wanted. Last year, I think you started to promote a little heavier, and things were a little bit better. So, how are things going this year? Uh, things are going very well. Um, it's, yeah, we've just you know. People continue to have a need for various equipment. So tell me, uh, give me a list of the kinds of units uh, that you now have available. I have uh, a couple uh, high-speed discs, high-speed slash vertical tillage discs. And uh, I've got a couple heavy braking discs. And uh, I've got a couple land rollers. Uh, uh, rough cut uh, Schulte mower, a grain vac, and a closed trailer. So when do you see uh, your your business uh, at its best? When you look at 
2017? Would it be spring, summer, or fall, or do you kind of even it out? Um, spring and fall are, are generally the, the busiest uh, seasons, May and uh, October. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, farming, as it uh, continues to be, this year we started out a little bit later, but because of the dryness, uh, I think guys got going pretty good. But there's only a, such a short time frame, and I guess that's where it really comes in to, to help farmers, right? When, when people are, are, are in a bind and they say, boy, there's, I can actually rent a piece of equipment and get this done quickly. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Sure. So... Uh, Okay, um, tell me one more time uh, uh, where they can get a hold of you and uh, and how best to, to connect with that farmer. I can uh, connect with me either uh, uh, through my, my cell, which is usually the best way. Um, it's 204-825-0170 or, or through... Uh, Social media, uh, you can message me over through Facebook, through our Facebook page, or on through Twitter. Give me your Twitter handle. Hi, I'm Rick Funk from Funk's Toyota. Our family has been in the automotive business for over 45 years. That's 45 plus years of looking after customers. We have a top worldwide recognized product that we are proud to be a partner with Toyota Canada. Every new and used vehicle is negotiable when it comes to purchasing your vehicle here at Funks Toyota. Our staff of many years is very knowledgeable and will help you, not force you with your buying decision. There are no hidden fees and no pressure tactics. Not only that, we promise what we deliver and have one of the best used vehicle warranties in the business. Our staff love to serve and you will feel like family after your first visit. We are not perfect, but we love to please here at Funks Toyota. For those of you that have experienced our Funks Toyota family way, please share it with others and like us and share us on Facebook. We are proud to be a sponsor of the Manitoba Amateur Sports. Visit us online at www.funks.toyota.ca. Tell me, uh, Carter, uh, when we talk about rental, I uh, go right back to the question that uh, when my father farmed in 1960 with a thousand acres he owned it all today of course the farms are bigger and the equipment is bigger so why why do farmers rent oh that's a good question here i guess it uh, depends on each farmer individually but some of the smaller guys um, might not have the equipment so it's a good opportunity for them to get access to new well-maintained equipment um, some of the larger guys may have some of the equipment that they're renting, but might find themselves with so many acres getting into a pinch where they could bring that extra piece onto their onto their farm to help speed things up. So it really depends on uh, on each and everybody's individual um, situation, I guess. So you have dealerships, you have company stores, I think, uh, uh, across a couple of provinces. Tell me about that. Yeah, you bet. We've got, I uh, believe there is 10, there's 10 corporate stores in Western Canada, and each of those stores rent out agriculture equipment. And we also have over 75 rental dealers that are in association with us that also rent out agriculture equipment uh, into the more rural areas. So when we talk specifically about uh, AgriVentures and Dwayne Thiessen here in southern Manitoba, uh, so, so how does he work with you? You bet. So Dwayne and uh, Thiessen AgriVentures, uh, they started as an authorized flam and rental dealer back in the year of 2013. So Dwayne services customers out of the Crystal City area and he actually purchased a truck here recently that he can offer delivery as well. So anybody that is in and around that area that finds themselves in a pinch, they can just give Dwayne a shout and um, more than likely he will be able to deliver that piece out to them. So when, uh, you know, I, I guess you as a company, 
as a company store and working with people like Duane, uh, you're not really uh, implement specific. You you basically try to figure out what that particular area needs, and then that's what you are try and get out to the farmer. I would assume. Yeah, that's another good comment there, Harry. Um, if you're familiar with the Flamin Group of Companies, or if you've seen our annual product guide, it's our product uh, range is pretty diverse. So we've got a little bit of everything in there, and sometimes we joke around that if we don't sell it, well, you don't need it. Um, <laughs> but that's exactly right. If if anybody is inquiring to rent something from T. Senegar Ventures or Dwayne in the Crystal City area there, and he doesn't have it, well, Dwayne is very uh, eager to expand his fleet. So it just takes a couple phone calls, a couple guys interested, and he's more than likely to add in that extra piece to help service his customers. Do, do you go into different areas? Do you have a strategic geographical plan? We do. Um, we're trying to cover most of Western Canada. So if you ever do get your hands on our one of our product guides, you'll see in the back pages there's actually a map with all of our locations. And there's a couple areas in there that we're looking to expand that are highlighted and most of those areas that we're looking to expand fall into Saskatchewan and Manitoba. So you you obviously then have some what we would call holes and that you just keep looking for people or how do you do that? 100% yep. Um, part of our mission is to bring agriculture equipment closer to the farmers so wherever there is a little bit of a gap between our rental dealers uh, we're always looking to expand and find the right people for the job. And, um, yeah, it sure is rewarding when we can find that, that fit and get some more equipment closer to farmers to help them each year. And I guess a fellow like Dwayne and Tyson Agri Ventures at Crystal City, uh, I mean, he's the he's the face that the farmers see there. You bet, yeah. Yeah, as I mentioned, Dwayne's been with the Flamin Group of Companies as a rental dealer here for a few years now and uh, his business is really taking off he really prides himself in keeping well-maintained equipment so chances are if you're renting from Duane you'll get a piece that is probably cleaner than any other piece that you'll find on your own farm so that's great and we're pretty proud to have Duane as part of our team this is Harry Siemens for the Farm Show and SiemensSays.com with Dwayne Thiessen of Thiessen AgriVentures and Carter Flamin with Flamin Rentals. Somewhere, somehow, sometime, I'll see you again.